what are we going to do today? Today, going forward, we're going to go paint Angelina. First step of every day. Opening up Angelina. She's a bit of a mess, but she is under construction right now. While Kenton started working on the engine, the rest of us started on the outside of Angelina's hull. I was going to get up close and personal with Angelina. To be honest, the initial assessment was overwhelming. I am looking for holes or scratches that we need to fill. Um, now, above the water line, all the green spots we put fairing compound to give her more smooth finish so when it's dry we'll sand it just a little bit to get it nice and smooth before we add the primer. We had no idea how much taping was involved. First lesson of the week, how to get on the dreaded scaffolding. There, I'm up. I got on that scaffolding again and again and again, more than I care to. Second lesson, how to use a epoxy paint, which I've never used before. As you can see, didn't start off real great. But like with anything, it takes a little practice, and we figured it out. It actually started coming together pretty well. As you can see, we were moving along at a pretty good pace too. And everybody joined in at one time or another with this coat. And as you can see, I let Kenton paint. As you'll see further in the video, there wasn't a lot of times that I let him have a paintbrush, but he did pretty good right here. Check out that sexy app. First looks free for you girls. I'm still working on my bikini body, you know. Sure, that's more accurate. I think Sasquatch is still further north than we are. I didn't say the same thing. This is a good example of some of the random conversations you have 
while you're working on sanding and painting a boat. Kenton had filled in the blisters so that they do not grow into cancer spots. And now he's sanding them down smooth so that she will continue to glide through the water for years to come. As you can see, there were a few that we had to take care of. So it, this process took a little bit to get through, but I think he's doing a pretty good job. The deeper spots had to be filled with fiberglass, not just the fairing compound. But we have clips of that later on. You'll see how that went. So what you doing right now? I am trying to figure out how much we're going to need because this thing has had some impacts right here. As you can see, they've kind of filled in some cracks here. But just because there's some cracks there, and all they do is kind of fill it in with like fiberglass uh, shreds. I'm going to tie it all together. And as you can see, we are almost done with the primer coat. This is a big boat. At first, I didn't think it was that big, but once you go up and down that scaffolding and around and around painting, you realize just how big she really is. It's still going to harden, but it's going to take longer, and that's okay. It's going to allow you to work with it better. Okay, well, here's what we do. I'm just going to show mom this. Oh, now he tells me. Half a can to two capfuls. I was thankful to actually to have his instruction because, well, uh, as I'll show you in a little bit, my first attempt at fiberglass, it didn't go so great.
Okay guys, so we gotta um, laugh at this moment real quick. Richard was bringing this out. Uh, let me show you this real quick. This was my first attempt at doing fiberglass. I literally boiled it out of the can. <laughs> so um, yeah, again, meticulous stuff. I'm not good at engines, I'm good at. <laughs> Richard says I'm a pro, he's being very nice. <laughs> and with sanding, I also kind of go things that it, like it, like an animal. So that's why they gave me this little baby sander here. Bev said I couldn't. She took the nice sander. Off right now, and I am going to show you what I've been working on. I have been doing this. I've been sanding down the trim around the back for around the back window so that it looks all nice and can be refurnished, um, sealed, resealed again. Thankfully, I inherited my mom's meticulous side because as it turns out, I like sanding. Because it's really nice to see with a little or a lot of hard work how nice something can be again and we'll show you the finished product later. He's been at this for a few hours. It's not perfect. He's going for perfection. This is a good boat guy. What you doing? <laughs> Marine spark. Just a note, I was tired. So right now, Cayman's taking a little break. He's finally hungry. Um, he had a really good breakfast this morning, so I made sure of that. And then Ben. She is going to tire herself out. I don't know if anybody knows this, but Bev has um, arthritis, but she still puts her heart into things. And she's been going nuts. Personally, I'm like, eh, if I can't see the roughness, I'm inside the boat. It's fine. But she wants it perfect, so that's good. spraying the boat. They just sand it so we're trying to get all the dust off. Wash it so we can put the, uh, the topside coat on. This was another case of living and learning. We thought we had done all the research, everything we needed to know about how to put on this paint. Well, I'll tell you. It started off and we thought, okay, we've got this. And then no, no, we didn't. It started going on like a mess. And the methods we were using in the roller, turns out it wasn't what this paint needed. So we got about halfway down the boat before we figured it out, how to do it. As you can see though, we did get it figured out and it started going on really nice and pretty. And as you can see later on, it came out good. Slightly misread the directions. Um, actually, we did everything like we thought we were supposed to. Watch the videos on rolling and tipping, and it didn't quite work out. But we missed one small detail. Um, we got three eighths nap instead of one eighth nap, and because of that, it did this. You see the uh, runs. So my thing was, I was like, you know what? It looks like Rhino Liner. You know, it looks like a tough ship. 
So I was gonna say, let's just go with it. But some people want to sand it, so I guess we're gonna sand. But I really want to just leave it. You guys, let me know what you think of the comments. I think it looks tougher this way. You know, she's like an old girl. She needs the toughest armor. Arr, arr, arr. But on this side, we had it down, and it started going good. We did the whole starboard side of the boat, and it came out beautifully. First coat. I was so relieved. I think Kenton was too. To be honest, I was just so glad that we didn't have to sand this side. I never want to hear the word sand again, never want to see sandpaper again. But we all know that is not going to be a reality. So what did we just do? We just put on the first coat of the top side paint and all the way around the boat. One side, the port side, did not come out so good because we didn't know what we were doing. But we think we have it down and the starboard side of the boat looks awesome with one coat of paint so far. So we're really excited. Um, we're going to do the uh, gel coat on the bottom today or this afternoon so we will have a white and red boat coming up today. hey so what are you doing right now i am brushing this down so we can get down to the bare metal and recoat it uh, to protect the brass and the stainless steel back here it has sacrificial anodes but uh, Apparently, sometimes they didn't keep up, so the uh, there's some parts that are uh, near pitted, so we're gonna try to fix that. And here we are going around again. But guess what? This time, I'm on the ground! I don't have to climb up and down on the scaffold. I am so happy because also I get to work in the shade, which is a nice change from being up on top. And as you can see, everybody helped out here and there. Came in with excellent support for us, kept us hydrated, and I think in a little while he did get to paint some. Even though I think it did get taken away, he did a pretty good job. Yes, but mainly I was the person behind the camera, making sure nothing happened to the video. And this is where I let Kenton paint again. As you can see, I wasn't completely selfish with all the painting. He got his fair share and realized it wasn't all that great. And we have to thank Richard, of course, because he also helped us so much, even though he didn't need to be doing that. We really appreciate his help. To be honest, I think he was actually helping for the same reason I was helping. We were just getting high on fumes. 
That was some strong stuff, I have to say. I would not recommend getting too close to that. At least we had good ventilation with all the wind going. But I don't think that was the strongest stuff. And there you have it. First coat. And I think she looks pretty good so far. And that's just the beginning. Before and after. See how she looks next week with the next coat. And to see more, like, share, and subscribe.